Ed the Sock, Canada's beloved foul-mouthed puppet, returns with Foo Network. Canadians who grew up in the 1980s and 90s will be familiar with Ed the Sock, the foul-mouthed puppet and VJ of now-defunct music video channel Much Music. Known for his acerbic mockery of celebrities and videos, Ed could always be counted on to tell it like it is. Largely absent from the media landscape in recent years, Ed and his real-life depictor, Stephen Kersner, along with his writer-producer wife Leon O'K, are looking to make a comeback in a big way. But it's not just about Ed the Sock, they're looking to start an entire TV network from scratch. Called the Foo Network, or Fun for short, it lives on its own YouTube channel, and resides at foonetwork.tv for viewing online. All content is distinctly Canadian. Kersner has started up an Indiegogo campaign to raise funds to keep the current series going and to develop new ones, and as of this writing has reached 18% of his $35,000 goal. So why now? In a society absolutely overwhelmed with streaming and viewing options, what makes Kersner so certain that fun can work? The impetus is the disappearance of the lower budget, more timely and topical, more personal tier of TV programming in Canada said Kersner to Global News. The recent cancellations of, Bell Media Shows, Innerspace and Daily Planet are because the broadcast networks need to put their money into shows with a long shelf life, safer content and big budget production values so they can sell overseas. Innovation, creative risk, content with a more relatable touch, a place to develop new voices and talent. The big nets can't do that, but we can and are doing it already. Related, former TV personality Ed the Sock comes under fire over who murdered Much Music video while Kersner doesn't seek to replicate the Much Music model, which often featured VJs, video jockeys for those unaware, out on the streets of Toronto, candid interviews with music stars and celebrities and overall a more grassroots approach to programming, he plans to use elements of it. He's also banking on society's nostalgia obsession to attract eyeballs. What is nostalgia, really, but realizing things we have lost and still value in our lives? He asked rhetorically. I call it the Facebook effect, we remember a friend, check their Facebook page, and if they seem in a good place, we may rekindle the friendship, if not, we move on. Same with media figures and shows that we had a relationship with. In the case of Ed the Sock. The relationship ended abruptly while he was still popular with high viewership. Same with much music, which changed due to reasons unrelated to viewer interest. So we're reuniting with Canadians. Some of the planned fun shows will include Ed, like the classic Fromage, but not all. There are at least 26 segments either in production or development, including the already live shooting the ST, celebrity interviews done exclusively in public bathrooms featuring Canadian celebs like George Stroumbola Poulos, and Lady Bits, an exploration of the role and depiction of women in video games, starring Leon O'K. Related, the latest on Gian Gomshi, Ed the Suck and Strombo Wayne, video of Gian singing All My Fans Make Me Sick on the Indiegogo page, fun is described as a network that feels like you're hanging out with friends. Kidding each other, laughing together disagreeing but with respect and friendship, an internet oasis that can make us forget the world for a while and indulge in irreverence and humor with on-screen personalities who feel like friends. In other words, it's attempting to capture the much music feeling without actually being much music, and is branching out into multiple topics far beyond music. Shows like Crazy Talk, which examines the notion of mental health, or Black Coffee, a segment dedicated entirely to the black experience in Canada and the world, seemed to indicate that fun isn't just fluff. Even Prime Minister Justin Trudeau has thrown his support behind it, writing a letter to fun. Foo Network isn't looking back fondly, it's taking the foundation of something we loved and building on it with modern tech and sensibilities, said Kersnor. With the interactivity possible now, we can actually fulfill the potential of the much music style concept and expand it better than was ever possible before. We have people participating in shows using their phones from wherever they are in the world. That used to take a satellite truck and a lot of planning. The world is a lot smaller now, and a network that feels like a village is more timely than ever. 
Ed Desoc is participating in a Reddit AMA at 12 noon ET on Saturday, June 30th.